Flashback within flashbacks. Hello, it's Linda here. I hope the writing is going well. And today I'm going to talk about flashbacks within flashbacks, which is a terrible mouthful, but you know what I mean. All right, can you have such a thing? Yes, you can. We've seen it recently in The Irishman, but you do need to take care. You know, the problem with all flashbacks is that people love them when they work. When they don't work, they hate you. <laughs> this is true. Where these flashbacks within flashbacks occur usually is when there are voiceover flashbacks. And in the middle of, of a flashback with a voiceover, the speaker has to explain something by talking about an event that happened in, uh, in the past. Now, the useful thing about that is that the voiceover, the dialogue, is telling the audience that they're going into a flashback. They're already in a flashback, they're going, going to go in another one. The other way you could do it um, would be, to, for example, if you had a character, let's call her Mary, and Mary's having a, a flashback, she's in the present, she's having a flashback to the past, but in the middle of that flashback, we see by Mary's face that she's remembered something, you know, very important, some event or something very vital, something, a key event, so we can see that, okay, in her face. Now, in that case, of course, we wouldn't need words because the facial expression would tell us exactly where we are in the story. In other words, it seems that the flashback within a flashback needs to be cued, it needs to be signalled either by a voiceover or by the expression on a character's face or by their actions. Okay, now I grant you that does seem obvious, but in the heat of writing, you might miss it. You know, these things happen. Now, the, just to get back to the structure of the Irishman, it uses one of the most complex types of flashback structure, so we need to talk about that. It's what I've named a double narrative flashback. That is, there's an ongoing story in the present, albeit small, which is the, the old man in the retirement home. And of course, right at the end of the film, we come back to him with his daughter. And he's talking about his life. And when he talks about his life, we go into flashback, which is an ongoing story in the past, his life in flashback, starting at the beginning, which is most important, and going through. And the film jumps regularly between the two. Now, you'll have seen it in a lot of films, and well-known films of this sort are films like Slung Dog Millionaire uh, and Citizen Kane, The Usual Suspects. And there are lots of forms of, of flashback. Now, why you need to know the structure of this one? Because the most reliable way to do it without falling flat on your face, and trust me, that is you know, a really big problem, is to think of it and plan it by creating two stories separately, one in each time frame, and then interweaving them. Don't try to do it at the same time because, uh, you know, interweave it on the go because you'll forget something. All right, so bottom line, yes, you can do flashbacks within flashbacks, uh, and I hope that was useful. Bye-bye.